<laughs> no, I call him Silver Gary for nothing. Catch a lot of these guys. Oh, wow. What we think, it might be a let down. We think it's gold plated on silver. Looks like a token. Can't see a gear on it. It's a bit more clean enough so you can read it. Old store wrinkles, but still, you can't complain when you've got a view like that. Ah, how beautiful is that? Well, good morning, YouTube. Back out again. Uh, here today we find ourselves at an old marketplace. Uh, we drove a bit of way out of town uh, to come to this place today, but it's very uh, historical for this area. So uh, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. The weather is perfect. It's just a little bit overcast. We might get a shower a bit later on, but the place looks really promising. Really, really, really looking forward to this. I'll show you the first target as usual and wish us luck and I'll see you soon. Well, I'm just working around the edges of the field at the moment. Of um, That there used to be an old rodeo where they obviously kept the horses and stuff and the balls or whatever. So I'm just going around the edges just for the moment. There's a lot of ring pulls around, a hell of a lot of ring pulls. But I just managed to pull up my first point, which was just happened to be a beautiful little $2 nugget. So that gives me hope to keep picking through the ring pools and getting something better. If they're dropping that many ring pools, they're dropping other stuff like money and jewellery, guaranteed. Well, that's the theory anyway. Well... <laughs> Silver Gary's did it again. What we got this time, Gaz? 1924. 90, sixpence. 1924, sixpence. That's probably George's fifth. Yeah, so they're here as well. A little bit dirty, but we can clean him up. Oh, they'll clean up a tree, mate. You better look at it. Yeah, excellent. So his silver streak continues. Hey, well done, Gaz. For what seems like ages, wading through the green pools and the cancel all that's all around here. I don't know if you can notice as well how red this ground is. It might be hiding a few of the targets to be honest. It's not really causing the machine to chatter that much, but it's obviously very rich in minerals. So, anyway, I finally found one and I put one out from pretty deep down actually. And it's just a 20 cent coin so we're struggling a bit but we're, we're persevering well out of that hole that you saw me get the 20 cent piece out i swung over it again we got a little coin spill going on um we got a little 10 cent coin in there with it and i'm sure that is a very dirty well worn 
nugget. I'll give it a swing over, see if there's any more. That's not a bad little spill. Dollar, 10 cents and a 20 cent. When you're struggling, you'll take that all day. Yep, there was another coin in there as well. I think that's another, yeah, yeah, another 20 cent coin. So, yep, not a bad little spill. I don't know if there's any more in there yet. Let's carry on. Well, I've crossed over from the park and I've managed to tuck myself in right close to these bushes. And <laughs> I've we called out another coin, another 20 cent piece. This must be where the cars park on the other side of the road, so but there's only a little strip. But yep, there's another one. Pretty cool. We called it out. Well, it's paid off coming across the road. There's uh, just where I winkled out the 20 cent piece. And here, I've just managed to uncover another two bucks. So yeah, it's worth the effort getting in the bushes. Cool. Well then guys, we're going to shoot off from this place, although it is very beautiful. But uh, we've been here long enough to realise that the target's a few and far between. And for what we are getting, we're having to work really hard for it. With all these ring pulls, they're absolutely everywhere. So we've got another place in mind, just in a small little town. There's a, a park in the centre of the town. So we're going to nip down there, we want to see what that's like. So I'll see you in a few. Well, we've just moved site. We've come into this very small little urban park. It's just on our way back. Um, we're just gonna have a little skirt around. It's quite busy. Quite a few people here and about and everywhere else. It's right on the side if we could just get you here without tripping over. It's right on the side of an old railway track that runs through here. Anybody that's from around here will know exactly where we are, so it's just a little place just for us to stop off, gather our thoughts and think about probably getting on to the next place as well. So we're just going to give it a quick go, see what it turns off. I'll show you the first target, what we find. Well, I haven't been really doing too much filming here because it's quite busy and I don't want to keep stopping and I'm videoing in front of everybody, but I'll show you what I've got while I've been here just now. I've got a couple of coins and this thing, which I'm not quite sure, rang up really nice. Um, probably just a bit of tat, but yeah, so you might not see me dig them up for a while just because the park's getting pretty busy and I just don't want to be stopping and videoing myself in front of everybody really so i'll find quite a lot of spots and show you what what i've found anyway that's what we've got so far so just managed to pluck out another 10 cent coin been here about half an hour three coins and that silver thing what well, i don't know what it is so we're still getting along Still plodding on.
Yeah, so we're just on our drive back from out of town. We're just stopping now. Little hot spots along the way. Um, you know, half an hour here, half an hour there. Just making our way back home, really. To see what we can pick up on the way back. It's just a beautiful day to be out. Especially in the shade. See you on the first. Well, that last place was very unproductive. Um, hardly any targets at all over there. So we've ducked back down. We've come to a, this school here. Uh, we're going to give this a go probably for about the last hour, last hour and a half. We're directly on the back of a school. So hopefully we might pick up a few coins or something. Anyway, it's still, it's still there. We're still having a go. So. Let's see what comes up next. Well, I've been here approximately 30 seconds and on to my first coin. A nice 20 cent piece. Quite deep. It's been there quite a while, so that's a good sign that no one else has been digging around here recently. Cool, let's plot on. Well, just a minute ago, I found an old padlock. And now I think I've found the key. <laughs> They're probably about uh, 20 metres apart from each other, but yeah, just a padlock and the key, and I think that's a broken key, so yep. Just funny how they came together like that. <laughs> right, so where's Gary when you need him? No, I'm not, I'm not sure what I've got here. It could possibly just be a brown bogger two, two, two cents, but it feels a lot like that, and I'm sure that it's got milled edge, a milled edge, so I'm just going to spray it real quick. It's probably just a two cent, but my eyes are so bad that I can't make it out. Try and get it in the light. coming up anything because it's coming up on that side it's so dirty looks silver eh I'm not sure that's one to clean up that layer that we carry so I'll get my glasses on I'll put it in the in a good pot but what do you think guy two cent piece <laughs> that was my luck but hopefully Hopefully it might be silver. We'll have a look anyway. Well, I'm getting quite a few coins out of this little place. I'm not filming every single one, but hopefully by the time the wrap up comes, I'll, I'll have accumulated quite a few. So I'm not gonna film every single coin. The video will just go on and on and on. So yeah, I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm starting to find a few. So that's not bad. Hopefully by the end we'll have quite a few stacked up. Well that's it for me and Gary. Another another day over, another day done. And here is Mr. Silver himself. <laughs> and and a, a, a half penny as well. 1920 oh. 1924 George Frith. Nice little silver sixpence and a root penny to go with it, half penny. That little thing that I was looking at over there, it's some kind of token. Some kind of engineering. It's got a, it's got a picture of a, a, a guy with a baseball bat or something. Uh, we had a look at it. So it's a token of some sort that I was looking at over there. Anyway, that's us done for the day. That's us done for next week. Until next week, I should say. Stay well, all good, keep swinging. I'll see you again. Cheers, guys. Well, back in the garden. Back home, just gonna do a little roundup, just a quick roundup. Today's been a coin day today. Um, we didn't do too bad. It's been quite slow. We got a few dollars, two, four, five, six, seven bucks. Uh, good few. 20 cent coins 
fair few ten cents, even throw in a couple of fives. And that um, little tokeny thing, I don't know if you can see that properly now. We try to clean it up a little bit. At first, I didn't know what it was. Could have been silver, it was ringing up high, but um, me without my glasses, you know, I couldn't see anything what was on it, so I had to wait for Gary to get his eyes on it. A little bit of a token of some, some kind. Can't really see what that says. Ballpark batter. Holbrook Engineering something or other. I might be able to do a little bit of research on it, see what it is, see where it comes from. But yeah, so just a little token with some, some description. So yeah, so basically just a coin tuning day really, no jewellery. Of course Gary got his silver again and a penny, well a half penny again. Fair play to him. Anyway, that's me over and done with. I'll see you next week. Take care. All the best. See you later.